Hi everyone, we're Mike and Ellie from Hitchin Farm Working Horses. And today we're going to do a little video on starting young horses to carriage driving. Right, so we're going to talk through today how we start our youngsters, and we do start them quite young, so that we're trying to reduce as much stress as possible. Carry on. Um, and it's more of an apprenticeship. We don't like to rush things. We find that rushing them is just going to make them anxious and stressed. And when you're putting a horse in this position, it's just too dangerous. So it's really important to start them young and start slow and steady with them. And you really want to take into consideration their mental age as well. So even though these guys over here are getting quite big now, they're still only babies. So the lessons are going to be short and easy for them. Having said that, we have trained horses up until their teenage years to carriage drive and they've been very successful. But you do have to remember the older they are, the sort of slower they are to take to it generally. So this isn't a how-to guide, this is just a rough outline of how we start our young horses. And if you're thinking of doing this, really take professional advice because it can be quite dangerous if you don't do it properly. So before we get into the video, we also just wanted to say that we will be doing a video on introducing horses to field work. So if you'd like to see that, do like and subscribe so that you see it in your home feed. So this is Hades, he's our nearly one year old colt. Um, he is halter broken, he ties up, he'll pick up his feet um, and he's just starting to explore the world with us now and come out on the side of the wagon. Um, he's also escorted his mum out on a couple of rides. The idea behind this is that he'll learn from mum that this kind of thing is perfectly normal and nothing to worry about later in life. He's also been desensitised to heavy machinery around the farm. And today we're going to be taking out on his first drive off the farm with the wagon. Right, so today we've got a horse tied on the side. A lot of people will call this sidelining. Um, and we're just going to talk about the ropes. So we've got two ropes on Hades here. One rope will go back to the trace and then the other rope comes forward to Opal's hain ring. And what it should be is about six to eight inches of movement so that colt can find a, a nice sweet spot where there isn't actually any pressure on him and he can just stand there, you know, and walk along nice and quietly and, and not have any pressure on the, on the halter. What's really important, if he turns right there, that's perfect actually is his head is about flush with this collar. If he's too, if he's further forward than that, what you find is he'll actually interfere with the steering if he gets a little bit upset. Whereas if he's back here, Opal's got full control over him. <laughs> this biting behavior is very much a cult thing, but Hades will go through stallion etiquette training as he grows older, which will help stop this. We'll cover this in a separate video. So here we've got Hades out for his first time on the side of the wagon with Opal, his grandma, and um, Simone, one of the other youngsters that we're working with at the moment. And you can really see the two ropes and how they're working at the moment. So if he's going along quietly like he is now, there's, there's not pressure on anything. But obviously if he goes forward, it'll stop him. And if he hangs back a bit like he is now, there'll be a little bit of pressure from the front rope. After doing this a few times, he'll be turned away for another year so he can learn to be a horse as well. So this little blue roan mare in the middle is Blossom. She is now two years old and she's starting to do her work on the side of the wagon. Um, this year she'll also be wearing a harness and a bridle for the first time. So Blossom and our colts will have also come out to work with mum at a very early age. And she's continuing to go out on the side of the wagon so that she get exposed to more traffic. So these are our two two-year-old colts and um, they will be also going along out on the side of the wagon and they'll be starting to wear their harness and their bridles this year. They'll also be doing more groundwork and connection work. To see connection work done really well, you should look up Warwick Schiller. A 
after doing this a few times, they'll be turned away in our bachelor herd, where our other stallions will teach them some manners. And this is Simone. She is now three. You will have seen her going along the side of the wagon on the last clip. Um, she's now actually starting to drive as a pair. Um, she's done lots of connection work. She's worn her harness. She's done some trace work. And she's now driving as a pair quite nicely on the wagon. Here is Simone demonstrating some connection work at one of our clinics. And here she is pulling a dumpy bag. Right, and on Simone, she's obviously more advanced. She is actually pulling the wagon now. Um, she's tied back to Opal's Hame as well. And that's just, if she has a little spook or a little fright, you can relax as a horseman and actually allow this rope to do the work of stopping her. And it's not gonna hurt her mouth because obviously it's all on the head collar. So it's just on that nose pressure. And again, we've got a nice wide nose band on this halter from Janet, which is really nice. Um, so yeah. This wagon is extremely light and I can actually pull it along the road myself. You'll also notice that we have Simone hitched on the side where there is traffic. This is so if she becomes spooked, <laughs> she pushes our good horse into the hedge rather than into oncoming traffic. Again, this will only be done a few times before we turn her away to mature. This is Clover. She's four. She'll be rising five this year. She's very confident now driving uh, as a pair and she's doing some field work and this year she'll be learning to go in shafts. So sideline work is also very useful for bringing back horses into work after they've had a break. Um, Lottie here had Hades last year. Um, so she's going to come along on the side today um, as a way of getting her back into her work. She is 13 years old now. She's one of our, well actually she's our oldest mare, or the one we've had the longest anyway. Um, she will be the anchor horse on most of the videos today and what that means is that she is a nice, steady, very confident horse um, that's capable of holding back the other horses if they get their knickers in a twist. Um, she's sort of a really calming influence on all the youngsters as well as being a horse that we use for pretty much all of our training courses. And here is Roger, our nine-year-old stallion, driving happily in shafts at the end of this process. He's been doing this work since he was rising nearly five. Once you have these basics in place, you can start messing around and doing some more interesting formations. If you're interested in learning more, we do offer clinics where we help guide you through the process of training your horse. And we also offer taste days and break-in training. watching and if you've made it this far don't forget to like and subscribe. Hi everyone we're Mike and Ellie from Hitching Farm Working Horses. <laughs>